you know, something slightly different today. I thought I'd show you something a little unusual. It's an MS362, yeah? And it's an old one. It's got the old type top cover. That's a new type. You can see the shape's different. Because the old type has a different filter. Oh. The new one has a circular filter. And it's also got space for the tuning screws. Low, high and LA, which of course is not Los Angeles, that's the uh, tick over. And it's got the different filter. The new one's got a round filter which sticks out a little bit further at the back, so they had to do a modification. It's got the old type throttle and choke arrangement. All working and nice. But it came with this back handle. You can see how it's different. And it's got a uh, throttle linkage. It has a standard throttle linkage, like this one. See it moving. But it's also got this. That is linked to that. It's basically when you press the trigger, and it's all connected, that goes in, acts as a dead man, and if you let it go, it puts a chain brake on. So this is an MS362CQ. So I was told. Apparently it's a pre-production prototype for use in forestry, especially tops and thinnings. So basically every time you take your handle off here, hand off here, holding by the top handle presumably still, chain brake goes on. I wanted to see if I could stick it back standard, and I can, but there are some differences. Because of this, in here, I had to go and buy on eBay a second hand back handle. So this is as usual. All good so far. But there's some more malarkey going on under here. That's the clutch it came with, which is trucked. And see, instead of being shiny in there, it's all completely spoiled away. And the bearing's gone for Burton. So the whole thing is really rocky. But the circlip groove is fine, and the bearing surface is fine as well. And this is the new standard chamber open mechanism. There's a spring goes on here, links that to that. And this down here is a newer crankcase half and you can see some differences. There's an abutment here on the newer ones which isn't used. And here it is. See the difference? Can we see any other differences? No. That's all fine. That pivot for the detent is the same and the abutment for the detent spring is the same. And that's the new abutment that takes the circlet which retains this. And that was different. These are the two abutments. This one nearest us is a new one. That's a circlet. You can see the circlet groove on here. The one for the special was longer, see it, and no circlip groove. And also there were differences in the chain brake linkage, which is this jobby. That's the standard. I need to put the circlip on and the e-clip. Chain brake band is exactly the same. And seeing the um, different back handle. In fact, every time you take your hand off the back handle, chain brake goes on. This isn't terribly worn. And there wasn't terribly much wear on the uh, clutch drum where the brake band bears, although it is blue. 
You can see that. But this is different. This is the uh, chain brake linkage. And that basically goes in there like that. That goes on there. And that links in to the brake band. And it also links in to this cable which comes through this drilling here. You see it? The newer one hasn't got that drilling. See how different it is? I wasn't even looking in the right place. There it is. There's a landing for a drilling. And there you have a landing for a drilling. And the cable basically goes through there if it's drilled. These ones aren't. So that's different. And this is the return spring for the linkage, which is different. Do the small spring, which this one doesn't have. This relies purely on the main spring for the chain brake, which the special arrangement also had. So the idea is to put this together as a standard new type using this part from eBay. Top handle's the same, everything else is the same. So I thought you'd like that. MS362CQ. And thank you to my friend James for giving that to me because that was his spare spare 362. And I think he'd noticed that my saw that I normally use is that little chap and that was made in 2002 this makes it easily 20 years old and some people that you work for don't seem to like that sort of thing they certainly don't seem to like your chainsaw qualifications originally dating from 1985 <laughs> I think I forgot to mention in these abutments here this is the one for the pivot, for the chain brake linkage. That's the original one, which is non-standard. That's a standard one. They're basically uh, drive pins. They drive into the casting after it's been drilled in the factory. And if you go in the back, you can see the ends. You can drive them out carefully, especially if you give this a bit of a warm first and then you tap the new one home don't get it to go too deep otherwise the uh, e-clip won't work and to get in there of course you've got to take the uh, exhaust off otherwise exhaust is in the way and you can't get at it when the exhaust's gone no problem just tap it out just need to get yourself a drift with the crack size. Too fat to drift and you damage the hole. <laughs>